it rolling? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Hi guys. Um, we're at Barnes Noble. I have no plan other than to get a coffee and to go shopping and spend a lot of money. Mm -hmm. Should we just go inside on my game? And they get the chocolate here on the internet. That's cool. This is my heaven. Wait, no, we have to get a coffee first. We have to get a coffee first and then and then we can do the lap and start here and then we'll go around. Okay. Okay, we go. Christian says I don't need this puzzle, but I think I do. No. Do you know what I love watching? When you take your first sip um, and your dribble comes off because you're salivating. Broken. Okay. Yeah, you gotta be careful with the angles though, because I don't know what this. It's nice. It's always straight. Well, it's always horizontal. Um, You're very close to my face. Though. Yeah, no, I know. I'm catching everything. They've changed the sections. And this is psychology and parenting. This used to be the fifth section. I'm, I'm lost right now. Um, you know, I've not actually read those ones. You've seen them Yeah, I think they're cool. Now, okay, now this fish is Grace. Now, everyone really loves this book. Um, low-key, I did not enjoy it very When much. have you started saying low-key? I always say low-key. Yeah, low-key, you have not enjoyed this you book. You have never said that. Okay, well, I'm saying it in this video right now. I low-key did not enjoy this book, but the cover is very good. So, it's not one that I recommend, but look at all of these. Okay guys, so I've had a little look around and there's a few here. Now I know I've read this book before, as I'm sure you guys know, I gave it a review. I think I gave it a three out of five. Now these, these are terrible. I gave these a one out of five and, and D and F, they're not for me. I already found one that I want. I know this came out a few years ago, but I really love this edition and actually it's hard to get this in the UK. So that's in the maybe pile. I do really want to read this series, but I think I can get these in the UK, although the covers are different. That's pretty. That's also pretty. Oh, that's pretty. Behind all of these, I'm also gonna add this here to the bottom. I don't know what it is, but the cover is good. Don't tell my husband. I'm gonna check out beforehand. Let's go to the Harry Potter section. That's probably where my husband is. Oh, he's not here. Oh, he's in sports. See the book bag? Oh, that is cute. That is cute. This is her in the basket. Mom to the rescue. Yeah. You've got to be taking care of You've barely even got wrapped. Wait, I can explain. I can explain. I actually have a backpack behind all of these. Do you want to make this one? No. Okay, we're just going to put it in the basket and just, we're just going to take it out of it. Uh -huh. Big Thunder Mountain. I like that. We need a new board game. What else is in there? Is there anything in there for me? Um, there's... Naturally. Yeah, that looks good. What else is in here? In the basket. Oh, it's a film. It's a soy candle. I love soy candles. And it's Raven Call. Oh, no, we're not getting that. What? Um, it's $45. Oh, okay. This one's not. This one's not staying in the basket. Have we got those? We do not have those. But I mean, you and I, we play Uno all the time, don't we? So I guess Never. we need them. <laughs> oh, yeah. I've never seen it before. Oh, I definitely said it was Michael Jordan in the video I just did. <laughs> But it's the bottom. <laughs> Do you know how I feel about this series? Mm -hmm. 
This looks promising. This is a no. When you're designated book driver? This section is always so much better in America. I don't know why, but it is. I'm sure I don't want it. What exclusive books? This is pretty, but I don't think I need it. It's just my safe kind of Oh, look at this one of Dune. Still need to read this. That's really pretty. I saw this and didn't know if you wanted that as well. Oh, I haven't read that book. I have that one, but I haven't read it. It's kind of my toxic trait is having books and not reading them. That's pretty. Wow. I think I'm going to put back Lake Sedge because it doesn't have great reviews on Goodreads. But I'm going to get a couple of, like, fave ones. Like Fae romantic books. I haven't seen these before. That is amazing. I just realized that one of the books I have is 50% off. Like buy one, get one 50% off. So obviously I save money if I buy another book. There's a success. I'm very happy. Let's get to a haul. I know, hello. To see the books we got. We got some books. dollars at all this hardback fiction. Okay, hey, we are at Books A Million because I couldn't stop myself and my mom has coupons, so shout out to my mom who's filming this. Um, all of these books are clearanced, so we have things to do. I want to read the series, but I can only see the third one. That's my problem, but so far, we're doing okay. Mom, you like this one? <laughs> These are literally all on sale. What the fuck? So many books I haven't seen before. Oh my god, look at this. I would have loved this as a kid. Do you see it? Mm -hmm. Harry Hermione on the train. That's amazing. Should we get the uh, sorting? Should Here we get the uh, house points counter? Yeah. Every time you do the dishes, I give you a point. No, every time you do the dishes. as a kid but they scared me a little bit so I never got through them. You could read the Harry Potter series but you couldn't read Spiderwick. No I could not read Spiderwick. I could not. These are expensive. I've had a bunch of little kids, little girls ask me about like to bring them a Sleeping Beauty book and I can't find one. Oh. I can't find one. Okay, so this is the pumpkin juice macchiato. And we're back. Hi, hello, welcome back to England. I am so sad that we are no longer in America at Barnes and Noble. I am incredibly jet lagged. We got back like two, two, one and a half, I don't know, time is weird, days ago. And I, my sleep schedule is all over the place. They also forgot our bags in North Carolina. So that was a thing. I got a coffee though this morning. It's currently 10 a.m. It feels a little bit like 3 a.m. 
part in the glasses glare, I can't put my contacts in. My eyes hurt too much. So these are just the books that I picked up from Barnes & Noble, Books A Million, and um, Dollar Tree. <laughs> my mom got me something from Dollar Tree. Fun fact, spoiler alert, the next video you see will be a book haul of books other books that I brought back from America from my childhood broom bookshelves. Oh my god, I cannot speak today. Okay, starting over. Everything else that I brought back from America, all my books from my American bookshelves that have come to live with me in England. So there are books that you would have seen in my like 2020 reading videos and like I don't know. I don't even know what I was filming in 2020, but I definitely like showed you them at some point. So those are not new releases, but they're books that I've owned and cherished and loved and like now they've come to live with me. So anyway, that's for another time and place. Also like some fairly books, but that came while I was gone. But anyway, let's talk about the books today. Okay, so at Barnes, I walked around with a huge pile of books, but I narrowed it down to five and these were actually um, gifted to me by my mom, like I buy her things from England and then she like pays me back in books. So it's the best of both worlds. And this is what I picked up. Now I didn't have a lot of time at Barnes, like not as much time as I normally would have spent there. Christian wasn't feeling very well, although he did make that amazing book, <laughs> book reel, which is so funny. I'll put it on the screen now. If you haven't seen it, go check it out. He was so funny, but he actually didn't feel well that day. So we did leave kind of early and Barnes and Noble just has so many books that England does not have. Obviously like the authors are different and the publishing industry is different over there. And just like the amount of books, I think like consumed in terms of like population. I don't know. I'm probably just bullshitting right now, but like the number of books in Barnes and Noble is so much bigger than Waterstones, especially because they carry older releases. Like Waterstones really only carries primarily new releases within the last, like, I want to say five years. Like you're not going to find anything from like 2012 at Waterstones unless it's very, very popular. So anyway, I had a lot of fun looking around Barnes Noble and this is what I picked up. The first thing that I got was A Ruin of Roses by K.F. Breen. And I had seen this like on Amazon or maybe like Kindle Unlimited. She's an indie author and it's self-published. So I was like, okay, this is interesting. It's sitting on the adult fantasy table, like right in the center of Barnes. So obviously when I saw that it's a dragon prince and there's like shifters and it's a Beauty and the Beast retelling that's dark and steamy, I picked it up. I actually then read this in the last, I don't even know how many hours because time is weird again, but I did read this flying back to England and then like, like fell asleep here at my house, woke up, finished the book, fell asleep, woke up and like thought about the book again. And I didn't really like it, which is such a shame because I loved the Beauty and the Beast concept. I will talk about this book and what I didn't like about it. And also like what I did like about it in my upcoming fantasy romance reading vlog series video two. I don't I need like a better way to describe that series, but it's in the second video that's coming out. I'm glad I read it. Thank you mom for buying it for me. I don't think I'll be continuing on with the series, unfortunately. Okay, the next thing that I saw was also a complete impulse pickup and that would be A Broken Blade by, who is this by? Melissa Blair. And it's the first book in the Halfling Saga. I don't know if you can see this, but it kind of has like this shimmery, like, I don't know. What is the word? I almost said fabric just then. I'm so tired. It has a shimmery, shimmery bit <laughs> on the eyes and it's a floppy paperback. And I was like, this looks cool. And then I was like, okay, well, if I'm going to pick up this book, I might as well pick up the sequel because they don't sell this in England. So I got the second one, which is the Barnes Noble exclusive edition, which has like this fold out map and possibly something else. And this is called The Shadow Crown. I don't know how many books are going to be in this series, but I picked these up and I have my laptop here because I'm too tired to read the synopsis, but let me just quickly read this and then I'll tell you what it's about. Okay, this is giving me Throne of Glass 
vibes, but it was in the adult section and it actually says it's for fans of JLA and The Bridge Kingdom and A Court of Thorns and Roses. So, I mean, I love all those series, so this better deliver, but the synopsis sounds like Throne of Glass. So it's about Kira and she is the King's Blade. She is the royal spy and the best assassin for the king. So like serving, you know, Selena Sardethian vibes. And she is called to the fairy land to take out a threat to the kingdom and to the king called the shadow but once she gets to fairyland she discovers like that the fae and the shadow really aren't what they seem and maybe the threat is actually the king that she works for possibly not the shadow i know that there's romance i think that there is also sapphire representation in this book as well when i picked these up i was just like fairy romance i'm in when I got home, I was like looking at it more and I was like, I actually don't know if this is going to be the right choice for me when I was reading online. However, there are some really, really good reviews out there and it does have a 4.6, no, 4.06 and that's a pretty high rating. So I decided to keep these both and hopefully I do enjoy them. I haven't heard anyone talk about this series. So please let me know if you know anything about the Halfling Saga. Haven't heard of it before but I really do like these covers. This is a side note. When I went down to Starbucks a few minutes ago to pick up my Vente coffee, I thought that this surely wasn't mine because it looked like a grande. And then I remembered I'm in England and not America and the coffees are like half the size. I am bitter about it. Right, moving on, I found another she's indie i feel like this is an indie book but it did end up being published by harper voyager probably because of the hype on tiktok or you know bookstagram and that would be the high mountain courts by a.k mulford book one of the five crowns of orcrith series i think i'm saying that correctly i have also seen this floating around on amazon and i was like oh my gosh it's here in the store so this is about a girl named remy she's 19 and she's the last red witch alive but the northern court king is trying to like kill off her kind and then it says when four fey warriors you know i love a fey comes to find her uh she comes face to face with prince hale of the eastern kingdom and he claims to want to stop the war with the northern court and in order to do that she he needs a red witch she doesn't know if she can trust him it's a fave in the adult fantasy romance so this is going to go into that vlog series that i'm doing i'm excited about it and because it's buy one get one 50 percent off i was like have to get another book and so i picked up the barnes and noble exclusive edition of for the throne so this is a sequel to for the wolf by hannah whitman and i picked this one up because i actually picked up the first book from barnes and noble two years ago i still have not read it it was on my tbr for this year in 2023 slash 2022 so i will get to it at some point this year but i was like i might as well get editions that match so i am excited and i think that this follows the original character's sister, but I can't tell you anything about this book because I haven't read the first one. This is my little Barnes haul. And then the next day we went to Books A Million, which I love. If you do not have Books A Million near you, please visit one next time you get the chance because I think that they have something, some kind of partnership with Book Outlet. I've always thought this because if you go on bookoutlet.com, which is, from Canada actually, you can find a lot of the books online there, physically in store in Books A Million. So, so many new releases and like recent releases that are brand new are clearance out and they have big aisles of them at the Books A Million near me. And also their cafe is really good. So there were all these Harry Potter drinks and oh, it was delicious. That ice pumpkin latte in the summer really did serve. So these are the books that I picked up in the clearance section the first book that i saw was the third book in the five crowns of orcra series so this one's called the rogue crown i got this for five dollars and 97 cents i'm missing book two but like i had to pick up book three so that was exciting these actually all from the clearance section um for another like five dollars i got a very steamy Highland Wolf by Lindsay Sands. I mean, look at this cover. My husband was rolling his eyes, but like, how sexy is that? This is a historical romance by Lindsay Sands, and it's set in the Highlands, and it follows a lady, Claray McFarlane. She is betrothed to the wolf. 
Okay, that's all I need to know. I'm probably going to read this in preparation for my upcoming Outlander readathon, which I have not put out an announcement video, but that will be coming in the upcoming weeks about when we will be doing the Outlander readathon. I'm so excited that you guys are excited to do it with me. And I'm actually hoping to make a trip to Edinburgh later this month. So maybe this will be like my train journey read. You know what I'm saying? Speaking of Lindsay Sands, side side situation here. My mom went to, <laughs> my mom went to, um, oh my God, what's it called? Dollar Tree. And she got for me another book by Lindsay Sands called A Gentle Rogue. And this one is a pirate romance. This is about a girl named Georgina Anderson who disguised herself as a cabin boy and she cannot resist the captain, James Mallory. So thank you, mom. I'm very excited. Very fun. Okay, and then the last book from Books A Million that I got is actually a sequel. No, I do not have the first book and I've not read the first book, but I have almost picked it up a few times. And actually, I almost picked up the first book uh, for my friend Brittany from Brittany Reads for the surprise book swap that we're doing. Um, you'll see that video coming out soon. So I was like, you know what? I've been wanting to pick up book one for a long time and book two was right here in hardback brand new for $5. So I picked up by Sarah Henning, uh, The Queen Will Betray You. I really like this cover. The first one is called The Princess Will Save You. Let's look up what The Princess Will Save You is about because I've only ever wanted to pick it up because of the cover. Okay, so apparently book one is about uh, a princess who rescues her stable boy, true love. Oh, Sarah Henning wrote Sea Witch. That's how I recognize that name. Here you go. It's my little, not so little pile of new books that I got. And I'm going to have to kind of rearrange and rethink my bookshelves that I just reorganized and did a video tour of. Plus, all the other books sitting there next to me in a pile that I need to haul through from my American shelves. Like, I don't have the space. I'm going to have to come up with another solution, possibly a like little book cart maybe. I'll have to convince Christian. He probably won't want a book cart floating around the house, but then I could just like wheel it around with me, you know? Anyway, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I had a lot of fun making it. Uh, shout out to my mom for helping me film and for Christian for being such a sport. And yeah, I love you guys. Let me know what you are hauling this month, some recent reads, if you read any of these books, and if you like Lindsay Sands, because no one like talks about her. I read Lindsay Sands before and I really enjoy her books. So let me know if you're into her, if you're into any of the books that I've talked about. If you have read, KJ Breen, what are your thoughts on A Ruin of Roses? Is that what it's called? I already forgot the title. Yeah, A Ruin of Roses. Anyway, thank you so much. I love you. I'll just talk to you later. Bye. Ugh. I'm so tired.